COVID-19 is spreading rapidly in the U.S. and Europe, but in Asia, Taiwan has been able to contain the virus quickly. Since the SARS epidemic in 2003, Taiwan has been preparing for the outbreak of a new virus. The immense effort and stringent measures are now paying off. Surgical masks and goggles have become part of Dr. Ho's uniform since the coronavirus outbreak began. He was among the first group of doctors in Taiwan to treat suspected patients. That was back in January, when the virus first spread from China across the strait. Taiwan is experienced in understanding China. We know what is reliable and when we should be skeptical. And because Taiwan has long been isolated from the international community, we must take more steps ahead of the crisis and use our own judgment. This is where he ended up sleeping. A dormitory next to the hospital set aside for medical staff like him. For Taiwan, vigilance is the treatment for a disease with no cure. It was hard to identify misinformation at first. I was scared of spreading the virus to my family. I think this has to be a collective effort. If each of us takes very strict precautions ourselves, it eases the burden on the healthcare system. Other than medics and military, students and teachers at high school level and below are now banned from overseas travel. Foreigners are denied entry. But containing the virus is not only about border control. Communities have found themselves on the front line. District officer of the local government, Gary Kwan, monitors individuals under 14-day home quarantine. One of his duties is to take care of their daily needs, such as delivering fresh food. We help to make it easier for quarantined people to stay at home, to reduce the risk of contagion. If anyone leaves the apartment, we'll be alerted by text message and call the police. He or she may be fined. Quarantine in Taiwan may feel service-based, but it's also stringent. Individuals are under surveillance. Telecom providers are cooperating to enable the government to track people via their mobile phones. Health officials believe technology helps contain concern and prevent panic. One example is the face mask rationing system. The island remains concerned about a potential massive outbreak. While waiting for a vaccine, community and government-led containment is the only way anyone knows how to fight the virus.